So once we have understood the concept of uh, discrete time Fourier transform, the concept of uh, inverse is very simple. So if you see the first equation here, this is the equation of uh, discrete, uh, discrete time Fourier transform. And all we have to do is move this exponential to the other side. And in doing so, when this exponential gets divided, uh, it becomes a denominator. Uh, and when we take it uh, on top, this sign will become positive. So this is exactly what has happened. And this equation is for inverse uh, DTF, uh, DTFT. So when we move this exponential on the other side, the sign flips. So the sign has flipped here. And it gets uh, multiplied by the dot products or the Fourier coefficients. So now it's a dot product between the Fourier coefficients and the flipped version of the complex oscillator. And again, we are just uh, you know normalizing it with the total number of samples that we have taken. So uh, graphically, this is how it looks. Uh, the complex oscillator remains the same. Only only difference is that the the, the phase of uh, the signal that's that are getting generated that they are 180 degree uh, shifted. Uh, but uh, there's no difference in the harmonics that are getting generated. Both sine and cos uh, are required to, to to have a dot multiplication with the complex Fourier coefficients. And uh, then we just take a dot product of these two quantities, which is the result of I mean the spectrum uh, that we obtained earlier. Multi, uh, dot producted with the with this complex of exponential. When we do that, we recover the original signal in time series. That's all there is to uh, to inverse uh, discrete time Fourier transform. So let's uh, try to see it in uh, in Python. So in this section, we are uh, going to understand uh, inverse DTFT. Uh, basically, from frequency domain, I want to recover my original signal in time domain. So what I'm going to do here is that uh, firstly, I'm going to initialize a array where I'm going to save this uh, the reconstructed signal. And uh, as shown in the PowerPoint slides, that uh, there's nothing that is required to be done. We are just going to do exactly the same uh, operation as we did earlier. But instead of multiplying, in, instead of you know uh, uh, having a complex oscillator with minus sign here, we are just going to flip the sign to positive, and uh, we are just going to multiply it uh, with the Fourier coefficients that we obtained earlier. Uh, these ones, these ones, and uh, and then just do an add operation on on top of it, which is equivalent to doing. Uh, this multiply and this uh, add is nothing but leading to uh, dot product, and my original signal will get uh, uh, will be recovered. So let's see that. Here we are. So if you see, this was my original signal. This is exactly the same as uh, I have recover I have uh, plotted here, and after doing inverse DTFT, I'm able to recover everything back, including the DC components. So and, and there's no difference in phases. The signal is perfect. The DC component has been recovered. And uh, that's how inverse DTFT works. It's as simple as that.